Hey, welcome back everyone. Uh, just a quick, real quick stream for uh, Buzzsaw on the ZX Spectrum. Uh, basically this requ was requested months ago and it's one I've just got around to looking at. I had a few goes on it. Really cool game from 2011 by uh, Jason Railton. It's, um, I'm not sure what it's written in, if it's machine code or or what, but it's a really good game and it's kind of a bit a bit spooky to be honest um i just bring up and bring up the emulator I hope everyone's doing okay as well getting all those geographical lockdowns now local lockdowns which is kind of a bit weird um so let's put in the uh Oh, I've lost my track train of thought now. Thing is, Buzzsaw is the version I'm going to play is the Foxton Locks mix, and to me, I can't get Royston Basie out of my head. It's like the the week before Christmas, we went down to Foxton Locks to cut up the little furry animals, that kind of thing, and. It's a really kind of cool, cool name, but I don't know where it came from or, you know, or what. So uh, it's very, very weird. But there are other versions as well. You got uh, the Foxton Locks mix, which is free, and then <clears throat> there's other versions where you get different kind of blood splatters and and things like that. So it's worth getting the other versions, uh, which I probably will eventually. Uh, let's have a look. So. Okay, so I'll bring up the screen, bring up the trusty ZX Spectrum, and we'll have a journey down to Foxton Locks. Okay, so start that loading in. It's it's loading in fast, so you but it gives you so you can see the uh, the loading screen. So it's pretty colourful. Jason Railter, music by Mr. Beep. Um, that oh, and you can hear the music now. So the music's kicked in. Uh, yeah, that loading screen um, is just using attributes, so it's on and off, on and off. And you can see it now at normal speed rather than like before when it was loading a bit quicker. So yeah, cool music, really good presentation. Um, and it's really playable as well. There's not really much to it to learn it, but to actually play it, it's, it's quite strategic on you know what you actually need to do. So yeah, so I'll just press space, what I'll do is I'll bring up my, uh, yeah I won't bother with the joystick, just space, yeah for Joffa as well who, who died, famous uh, uh, game author. So when you first load it up, You've got the <clears throat> the intro screen, but there's something you can do. You can press C. What it does, it syncs up to the hardware for the purpose of doing the split screen colours. So this is detected. If you press C, it shows you what it's detected. So it's detected a one to eight K, which is correct. But if it, you know, if you're loading it on a forty eight K, and it detected one to eight K. You can press C to cycle through, and you can tell it what machine. Uh, you're actually running it on in case it, you know, if it doesn't detect it correctly, which means that the colours are synced correctly to the to the raster bars, if that's a thing on the spectrum, I don't know, but to the speed of the screen refresh, I guess. So if we do uh, see, so yeah, Pentagon mode is very, still looks pretty good. <coughs> see the buzz saws at the top, Foxton locks mix. The 48k mode is there, so we'll keep it on one to eight. Um, 
fire to start level one. You can pick a level, but we'll stick with level one. Because like I say, you can learn how to play it, but to actually play it is you, you need to learn the different bits and bobs of it. So let's press fire. So on the one to eight K that's with space. You press space. So it's like a bit like Tetris. Uh, they're the little mon the little furry monsters I was talking about, little furry creatures. You don't see any buzz saws at the moment. You'll see you'll know when they appear. So there's two ways of getting rid of the blocks. One is to buzz saw them up, chainsaw them up. We call them circular saws in I think in the UK. Buzz saw is I believe is an American term. So uh yeah, so you're filling in horizontal lines. Uh you can move it left and right, you can space to rotate. Uh I'm gonna just do that. You see notice that the end of the uh green fur furry thing, the green monster or for want of a better word, it just dropped down so it doesn't matter what position they're in. So to give you an example, that check that will is going to the I don't know which way that's going to go first when it hits the bottom, but if we do if we go down you'll see basically it cut the cut the cute little green thing up and it got those and then disappears. So also when you you see you've got the boxes as well. When you get a horizontal set of those they get crushed so you can clear the uh you know the line by doing that as well so in this instance um yeah i'm gonna put that there so that falls down now you can hear we've got a circular saw coming up so i'm gonna i'm gonna do it there It slowly. Okay, so that got rid of those two. There's definitely a knack to it. There's definitely a skill. Quite a relaxing game. Keep that there. And once you've done certain things, got a certain amount of lines disappeared or whatever, then you get onto level two. I haven't quite worked out what it is that you do. Whether it's the number of things that have, number of lines that have disappeared, or number of green things that you've killed, I don't know. Oh, shame we didn't fall down. So that's good. We've clean, cleaned that out quite well. Um, yeah, I'm going to do that. Let's see. Is that? Yeah. Got rid of them all. I'll keep the two boxes, keep them there, try and get a line of those. Yeah, so another line. This is quite a Halloween game actually, those cute little green animals are getting sliced up. I've got a feeling the other versions as well, there might be a bit more red in them. Don't take that as gospel, but. I'm pretty sure they are, there is. I think the reason you can start off at a different level, if you want, is that this might be a bit boring for you. But it, it's a good way of learning. Getting used to the ropes, as they say. Now, I don't know if there's a pause key. Need another sip of tea. Need my energy. Right, let's, um, let's do that. Chainsaw. And do that. I right, see, so that. And I think they, they start off different ways as well. Uh, so I think that one's going to go to the right first. And then it went to the left. So you do have to keep an eye on that as well. Yeah, it's a really simple game, but really playable. 
great graphics, sound is adequate, music's great. Um, there's a nice sense of achievement when you're slicing the green animals up, which is always nice. I've got a feeling it's how many of these green things you've got. Oh, I meant to do that. It's going to cover that up. Yeah, I'm not sure that's the best move at that point. So fill that in. Right, carnage. Let's get some carnage going. Semi carnage, bit of carnage. Or the 8 bit variety. Um. Yeah, I'll put that in there. Get rid of a line there, that's good. Then we've got five of them together. So now if I rotate that to there, it's like gonna do. Yeah, got rid of some of those. Get rid of him. Hopefully we'll get a tour the box that goes down, yeah. Those will fall down. That's cool. Okay, so there's not a lot we can do with that. Really nice day actually, with the sun. It's quite warm outside. He says sitting inside on his on his playing his game. Yeah, I needed to just chill out a little bit. In quite a hectic few days. In a good way. Right, let's put that there. Try and keep these these together. So we want it to go on the right hand side. So try and fill in that one at the end. And then get another saw which we can use on the left. Then we want That gonna do? Is that going to drop the box and then cut the green thing or is it going to... Oh it cleared it and then did it, brilliant. So let's... Fill that in. Yeah. Kind of blocks. I need a saw to get rid of the. Oh, here we go. Green thing there. Then get some block boxes in there. Uh, yeah. Oh. Do that. That opens up those two green ones. Right, in fact, he's gone. Use the saw, or do I? I'm going to use the saw. We need some more boxes. Get rid of a couple of lines. Uh, yeah, that'll do. Keep that there. Get rid of those two. Right, we need to fill in these couple of these box areas. Gonna block the top. Is it gonna keep? Is the saw gonna go across and get him? Go saw, go saw. Yeah. So. Right. Okay. Need to work out. Right. Try that. Yeah. Give me some boxes on the week before Halloween. So I can. I mean, I'm, to be honest, I'm not much for Halloween. Seems a bit daft. But 
I know certain people like it, so you let them get on with it. I'll just I'll just go to Foxton Vlogs. Have a fun time with my buzzsaw. Alright, um Yeah. Do that, put them down there. Right, we need some boxes now. Used to go there. Cool, that's two boxes. And two boxes there. Oh yes. Well, I'm going to sacrifice that saw to fill up, fill in the lower ones. I think for the moment. Two in one go, that's good. Oh, we've got a tour here, two boxes. Now I still need to open up the bottom row if I can. Put these green things together. Use the saw. Getting a bit high now on the right hand side. I'll do get a couple there. That's one line gone. Still level one. Put all these together. Need to think of a name for the green thing slimies. Uh, Ghostbusters. He slimed me in Foxton Locks. Yeah, I don't. I can't think of it at the name. This is a line. Down there. Cool. Oh, I need to bug it up then. Keep the greens together. Three, two, three together. We're getting a right party going on now. Okay, we've got a nice source. This should just do some stuff. I think that's going to go down, down, down. It won't get the ones on the left. Yeah. Oof. So. Got to keep those out that open. Do that. Yeah, you can lower oh, level two. So you see how long it took, but it, it's good practice, and we get ghosts now. Definitely a Halloween game, perfect Halloween game.
Maybe that's just a ghost then, like a blue ghost, green ghost. Oh, you can see them they're coming down quicker now. This is where it all goes to shit because I stop panicking. Well, we need some boxes. Here we go. Go get a couple of those. Keep the things together. Chainsaw. Not necessarily getting the boxes squished, or killing the boxes, so to speak. It's the actual ghosts uh, that get you onto the next level. Just to confirm, as they say. Oh no, what do I want to do? Oh no, that's blocked him in now. Isn't it? Oh, that's blocked him in now as well. I need some boxes, come on, give me some of them boxes. Okay, I'll get rid of a couple of those. Oh, no, it didn't. I got rid of one. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do... Oh. going to go to the right now. Oh no, left. Okay. A bit deceptive. Apparently you can work out which way it's going to go when it hits the ground based on its turning. The way it's turning. Da -da 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 -da. No, that's gone. Right, here we go. Let's get rid of some didn't realise this was going to go on so long. I'm, I'm doing quite well this time. Oh, you see now. I don't even know what these that one ton does. Ah, okay. That explains that then. It's good to know. Keep them together. Get rid of those three and then we can put some boxes down there. Although I've only got three lines here. Don't hear a change. I don't hear a buzz saw. Do you? Do you hear a buzz saw? Every time I hear a buzz saw, it reminds me of The Running Man. The book, pretty much, not the film. The film was a bit rubbish. Uh, no, I don't want to go there. So I want to get rid of those green things with the buzz saw that I'm not getting now. Okay, sacrifice that, close that up. Oh, okay, that will reduce the the height of the butt thing. Yeah. Right, here we go. It's been bugging me that that lower line. Yeah. See ya. Is that going to go down or across or both? It's going to go down. Yeah, I'm really impressed with these graphics. It's really playable as well. I'm guessing it gets hectic on the later levels. Let's see. See if we get that far. Yeah, so you can start on level 5, 1 to 5 if you want. Oh. 
Copy that, drop that down. Yeah, they're all scattered now. Three, or at least a couple of them. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Got two of there. Spin off and get that. Oh, yes. Oh, I hate to say it, but it's so satisfying getting those ghosts. That right, went the other way. Top of the other ghost as well. Two ghosts with one stone. Mm. It's getting tight now, I need some boxes. Trying to fill in the box level slightly below. And I'll open it up for the chainsaw. Do that. Hmm. Right, let's put the ghost together again. Do that combo saw. Yes. Chopping up there. split up so I can only get one at a time now. Sliding down to the animation of the buzzsaw is pretty cool. Probably like two two or three anim two or three frames but it's really impressive. Alright let's do that down. We need to get level three at least. And just by saying that, I probably jinxed it. Mm. 
So. Shame they don't drop down as well and just carnage from above. I wonder if there's any other games like this, sim similar. Oh, let's block that whole bit off now. What am I doing? Kind of simple gameplay like this, but difficult to learn, so to speak. Um, go on, go on, please get another line. Clean that box, clear it, clean my line. Oof. Oof. What's this? On left. Awesome. Do that, that'll get rid of one line. So close. Need a bit of space there. Game over. So our holiday in Foxton Locks is over. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. God, it was a lot longer than I thought it would be. And that was only level two. So if you start at level five, it will be quicker. You might see extra, like the weights coming up and extra baddies or tools that you can use to squish the ghosts. But yeah, I think they're the green and the blue. I think they're both ghosts. So they're not little furry, cute little furry animals, because that would be wrong. That would be wrong. But anyway, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, make sure to ding the bell and subscribe if you want to see more. Because at the moment, they're kind of random in terms of the time that I'm doing it. It's just a case of fitting it in, so I haven't worked out a schedule. But um, they will flip between 64, ZX Spectrum, text adventures and some Amiga as well so yeah thanks for watching and definitely 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 see you next time with I'm thinking something Commodore 64 ish or maybe Amiga because I don't think I've, I've not actually done a an Amiga live stream yet so yeah we'll see see what happens but yeah thanks for watching and see you next time